touch drop, drip, pop my. I'm stopping all these bands in my face. Mm -hmm. Mommy, go all oh, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, if you don't. Alright, so if you guys know hip hop, you probably know Double XL. And most recently, you probably heard Lil Keed's freestyle, because it's getting pretty famous right now for being possibly the worst Double XL freestyle yet. So if you guys don't know, the biggest part of Double XL is their freshman freestyle list, which they do every year. And the meme community has gotten their hands in there and found out that Lil Mosey previously had the worst freestyle. But this year's 2020 list might have a new worst freestyle, which is Lil Keed. And don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of both Lil Mosey and Lil Keed, but the problem is Double XL does this thing where they do these freestyles that are completely unprocessed dry vocals with no beat. And I mean, that pretty much just explains where it goes wrong. And like I said, I'm a pretty big fan of Lil Keed and I can't stand to see this man get roasted. So let's fix his freestyle up. All right, so a little bit of background. Double XL has been doing the freshman list for almost seven years now with the first freestyle dating back to almost 2014. The whole idea behind it is just to find the freshman of the year, which is basically just artists that are fairly new to the game. And then once Double XL picks this list, they release it to the public and have each artist do three things. The first thing is the ABCs, which they have each artist go through every letter of the alphabet and find a word with each letter that connects somehow to their life. For example, an artist from Atlanta would do A as Atlanta because that's their hometown. The second thing they do is usually the funniest thing because they have each artist freestyle with no beat, unprocessed vocals, no auto tune, just completely dry. Which is usually where you start getting these memes and people start rating each artist by uh, their freestyle. And then the third thing they do is usually the coolest and the best sounding, which is they have each artist group in like four to five people. They have a producer make a beat and they give them mics and they all freestyle in one room on the beat. And honestly, I am still waiting for the freshman list that is going to beat the 2016 Cypher with Lil Uzi Vert, Yachty, Denzel Curry, Kodak Black, and 21 Savage. Best one out there. All right, but anyways, let's get back to the point of the video. So right now we got Lil Keed and Lil Mosey battling it out for that number one spot of worst freestyle. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can catch Lil Keed a dub here, fix up his freestyle, make it sound a little better. So let's do it. All right, so check this out. We can fix Lil Keed's freestyle in five easy steps. All right, so first thing we gotta do is sync those vocals to some kind of BPM, because there's no beat and he's probably a little off beat. Step two, all we gotta do is process those vocals, throw some auto-tune on there, and just get it sitting in some key so we can put a melody behind it. Step three, put a melody behind it, specifically something Keed would rap on. Step four, make some drums that really accent that melody and you know, like some Jetson made type stuff like that. And step five, we're gonna arrange the beat, make it sound like a real song. All right, so step one is already done. I got the synced vocals pulled up here in FL Studio. I already brought them through Logic and synced them up because you really can't do that in FL. I mean, I guess you can, but it's just not as good as Logic lets you do it. So we're gonna go right into step two, which is processing the vocals. All right, so the first thing on my really bad vocal chain is just some auto-tune. We got the Waves Real Tune pulled up right here, and I have the key set to natural D flat minor. Next thing I did was just pulled up a fruity parametric EQ just to take out a lot of that low end that you could hear that like was really muffling some stuff that we didn't want. Next up, I got the SSL channel from Waves. I just boosted some of the high end, some of the high mids, and pulled a lot of the low end out. Then I put this R compressor on there, just some light compression with a four ratio. I brought the attack and release up just a little bit and threshold down just so we could get it activating. All right, then we got some more EQ. This one's from Fab Filter, and as you can see, I'm really boosting this high end because that's what was lacking in the YouTube video. And then after that, I got some delay, just a simple delay called Delay Eternity, and we got some reverb from Valhalla, the vintage verb. I pulled that mix down and just left the default preset on it. And already, this helps the vocals out a lot, especially the auto tune. It makes keyed sound a lot better. I'm stopping all these beds in my pants, man. Money grow old like green, parents. All right, so step three, we're gonna move on to the melody. So I already went through, listened to some Keed songs just to get some inspiration and figure out like the sounds we're gonna need. I'm definitely gonna be using some ARPs, but to start out with like that bass layer, I'm gonna be using this Keyscape piano called the LA Custom C7 Softest. All right, so with that bass layer piano, here is the chord progression that I picked out. All right, so, but as you can tell in the MIDI, I did bring a few bass notes down and just a few extra notes just to really fill it out. And this is what the entire piano sounds like. All right, 
and like I said, we are going to be using a lot of ARPs from Electra X, and I picked out three different ones, stacked them all together pretty much with the same chord progression, and this is what we got right now. Alright, so that was still a little too boring for me, so I took this preset from Electra that I found. It's like this pluck, and all I did, same exact chord progression, but I kind of like stutter stepped the notes, and it sounds like this. Cool, and then I liked where the melody was there, but I knew we needed a lead. And like I said, I was gonna try and do some Jetson stuff, so I added like this Uzi sounding lead, but I felt like it could definitely fit with a little keyed beat. And the entire melody together with the lead sounds like this. <laughs> Alright, so step four, the drums, we're starting out with a clap. Let's get it. Alright, so next we're going to do the hi-hat. I'm going to just lay down like a super simple two-step. Alright, that sucked, but we'll fix it later. Next up, we got the kick. Alright, so we'll have to fix that up too. Alright, next we're gonna do a little open hat. Alright, so the 808 is gonna follow the root note, and it's gonna be something like this. All right, so the melody and all the drums together, this is what we got. All right, so now we move on to the fifth and final step, which is the arrangement. We're going to make this sound like a song. So I'm going to go through, arrange this, try and make it sound a little better, and then I'll break everything down for you guys. Okay, so I arranged it, and this is super short since Keats verse is super short. But basically what we got right here is an eight bar intro call this like the hook or a verse like a pre-verse and then the chorus is right here so yeah that i mean that's all we really got and then if you wanted to say anything this is an outro but i got the rest of it ready for like an artist so i'll let you guys go through and listen but we are not done after that Like I said, I was going to make Keith's verse sound better, and I think I did it. Let me know if you guys think it sounds better. But like I said, we are not done yet. Stay tuned. All right, so if you guys stayed, I'm um, sorry that you did because I'm going to freestyle, so you're probably going to cringe. But, you know, in honor of Lil' Keith's freestyle, I was thinking, why not? All right, so I got the song we just made, pulled it up in Logic. We're going to throw some auto-tune on and some reverb and some delay. Now we sound like Travis Scott. It's lit! Alright, let's do it.
I'm a producer, so I had the bass. She told me that she wants it on my face. I said, little bitch, that's not the case. You pass me that blood, I'ma face it. I got your bitch and she naked. Now she wanna say that she famous. Shit, I'm too faded. Go up now. That should be good. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this video in any way, hit that like button. Subscribe to Split Mind. Follow me and Split Mind on all social medias. We got links in the descriptions. Also, head over to Drumify right now and check out my new loop kit. Just came out. 20 loops are created by me. Some of my most fire loops I've ever made. So if you guys want to support me in any way, go ahead and cop that. Make some cool beats with them. Also, uh, low key, don't roast me for my freestyle. Thank you. Alright, but that is all I got for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>